left there, Riazor, a fortnight ago. Fernando Morientes hasn't made it for Monaco. He picked up a thigh injury in the 4-2 win over Le Mans. Dado Persio plays up front on his 29th birthday. The referee is Terje Hauge from Norway. Deportivo have injury problems with Victor Luque and Captain Fran all out. Amavisca comes into the side on the left of midfield. Juan Carlos Vanderon is the playmaker. Bernardi. Oh, Manuel Pablo, what was he thinking about? Rota with the lob. Monaco off and running. Jerome Rota. Well, it was a gift from Manuel Pablo. Accepted gleefully by Rota. Deportivo La Coruña, normally so watertight defensively. Here's Sergio. Trying to break forward from his midfield position and pushed away by Flavio Roma. Bernardi flicks it through again. Julie. Not much defending going on here. Ludovic Julie. He was able to outwit Molina. And it's another one for Monaco. Moriente is a spectator, his pal Raul next to him in the main stand tonight. And we wondered if Monaco would really miss Morientes and his ability to lead a line. Not at all so far. Molina perhaps ought to have got there, but it's Julie's goal. Monaco 2, Deportivo 0 already. Sergio. Julian Rodriguez up from the back. Rota. Pichu on his birthday. 29 today. It's a feast of a first half for Monaco. A real nightmare for the Deportivo defenders up to this point. 3 0. Thanks to the Krogues makes his way forward. Better keep an eye on Pichu as well. The Deportivo back line. Just stabbed away by Andrade. Still in play, and Pircho arrives on the scene, and he's grabbed another one. Two for Pircho on his birthday. Four in all for Monaco. Who needs Morientes? Well, happy birthday, Tado, is the message from the Monaco. Monaco have the wall organised, and it will be three stand. The Argentinian. And swatted away by Roma. Got his right hand to the ball. And that on really has been anonymous. It's Amavisca. And here's Tristan. And Deportivo have pulled one back. And Diego Tristan with a fine piece of finishing. No clean sheet for Flavio Roma tonight. The defender was Rodriguez, just unable to thwart Tristan. Amavisca. Oh, this is much better, and it's going to be another one. Yes, Galoni for Deportivo La Coruña. Roma could only parry the Valeron shot. And maybe there is hope for Deportivo after all. Easing into this sizeable Monaco lead. Four goals to two. Julie has been a real live wire as he tries to keep his balance. Ludovic Julie, Daniel Pircho! It's a hat trick! A birthday hat trick to boot. Well, they don't come along very often. Certainly not in the UEFA Champions League. It's perhaps tempting to make a goalkeeping change. Gustavo Munua has come on for Jose Molina. And that little quick ball through for Julie and Munua. Well, using his head, or so he thought, it's gone in again. Jaroslav Plagil to make it six for Monaco. This is astonishing. I don't think the fans are content with 6-2 either. Oh, Rota looking for Pircio. Can he grab a fourth? He can! It's the birthday celebration you dream about. 29 today and firing 
at Deportivo from all conceivable angles. Dado Pircho, four for him, seven for Monaco. Now, can Deportivo add to their total? They've just done so. Tristan again. Seven goals to three. Ten goals on the board now, Tristan. Oh, that was magnificent work by Diego Tristan. He had so much to do. Trying to stretch his long legs. Still Cisse. And Cisse! For number eight! A record-breaking night in the Champions League. It is a new Champions League landmark for goals scored by one side in a single game in European football's Premier Club competition. Edouard Cisse has scored. To take it. And Adebayor trying to head it into the path of Julie. Well, it's fitting that we're looking at Monaco's number eight as it's an eight-goal haul and a four-goal contribution from the birthday boy, Dado Percio. Final score, Monaco eight, Deportivo three.